What's up everyone, back here for another video. So if this is your first time on the channel, hi, my name is Alex Temes. I've been day trading for 10 and a half years and I made over $8 million trading and we'll pop up my broker statements on the screen right now. Today's video, I'm gonna talk about how I made my first million dollars in the stock market and how you could do it too. So to get into this, we have to first start with the beginning. Where was I 10 and a half years ago? I was making coffee at Starbucks, right? I was probably making about 100, $150 a week after taxes. I had a girlfriend at the time, so what I would do is I would take $50, $60, put it into my gas tank, because gas was expensive back then, and then I would use the rest of the money to take her to the movies. Long story short, she ended up breaking up with me to be with a rich guy. So my thought process was, I have to get back at her. And the best way to get back at her was to get rich. So I started doing some research online, and I found out the best ways to make money in America are real estate and the stock market. Problem is, real estate has such a high barrier to entry to get started. Well, with the stock market, you could open up an account with as little as $500, so that's exactly what I did. I had this magical, mystical talent of every single time I would buy stock, it would go straight down. And I blew up account after account after account getting started my first year. Then, by my second year, I discovered what short selling was, which is you can make money when stocks go down. And I was like, this is perfect. If every single time that I buy a stock, it goes down, instead of hitting the buy button, if I just hit the short button, I'm gonna be rich. So I gave myself one last chance. I sold the rims off my car for $2,000 to fund my last trading account, and I said, this is it. If I blow up this account, I'm quitting forever. And I still remember the first short trade I ever had. It was on a stock called VGGL. I shorted 2,000 shares of the stock at $4 a share. Stock went down 50 cents, and instantaneously, I made $1,000, and I was hooked ever since. And then by my third year trading, I started to become a profitable trader. Now, why is this important, right? And why am I explaining this story? It's because to get to your first million dollars in the stock market, you need a strategy and a pattern that is repeatable. Okay, now I made my first $1,000. Now what happens next? Well, all of a sudden, I just started shorting every single stock that was moving, right? Because I was like, okay, like, this is my talent. Every single time, you know, I buy a stock, it goes down. If every time I see a stock and I short it, it's gonna go down. Well, it wasn't that easy because I had no strategy. I had no pattern. I was just gambling on stocks, right? So what really flipped the switch and what really changed everything for me was when I discovered a pattern in the stock market, right? So everyone knows that big institutional money, big money, hedge funds, Wall Street control the market. But the thing is that they have a specific pattern that they follow, right? So if you guys didn't know, 90% of trading is algorithmic trading, which means robotic trading, which means the algos are most of the market participants. Well, the algos need to be programmed on something, and they're programmed on specific patterns. So once I discovered that there were patterns in the stock market and those patterns repeated, that's what led to me making a million dollars in the stock market. So let me talk about the pattern I used back in the day, and let me talk about the pattern that I'm using to this day to make all my money. The pattern I used back in the day is I would go back and look at the daily chart. I would look for small cap stocks that would gap up and fade the same day. I would look for wick ups and wick downs, right? So I knew that in the stock market, the history tends to repeat itself. So what I started to do is I started to, before I traded any single stock, I would go back to the daily chart and see what was the pattern. Was it a pattern that it had higher lows on the daily chart? Was it a pattern that it just kept fading on the daily chart? Was it a pattern that it had multi-day moves on the daily chart? Or was it a pattern that every single time it gapped up, it will go right back down, and that's what I was looking for. So exclusively, by my third year trading, when I started to consistently make money trading, I would exclusively only trade those stocks that had a daily chart pattern of a gap up and fail. The inverse of this for a long bias trader would be stocks that continue to make multi-day moves. If you see that the first time that it gets volume on the daily chart, it has multi-day moves where the volume keeps increasing, that could be a potential long swing. But then, the big money where I started to make six figures a day, like AMC, GameStop, INDO, Bed Bath & Beyond, was on something called the first red day setup. So this is a setup that my mentor, Bao, taught me. He's been using this setup for about 20 years, right? And it's actually really, really simple. So what we're looking for is we're looking for charts that have multi-day green moves without a single pullback. So for example, you have a stock that's at a dollar that has a press release and goes to $3. 
The next day it goes to $6. The day after that it goes to $9. The day after that it goes to $12, then $15, and $20, or whatever. So it needs to be at least a thousand percent increase, right, over a multi-day move, and at least three to four green days in a row. And then what I'm looking for is the first day that it goes red, that is the day that profit takers start to come in, the stock gets overwhelmed with sellers, and that's a setup that I know that has a 90% win rate. So that's why I bet exponentially larger on those stocks. And I'll have another video on you know, share sizing and max sizing and how to scale into these stocks. But for this example only, I wanna kinda of talk about that pattern. Because without a pattern, you're not gonna make money in the stock market, right? And a good example of this was SMCI. If you guys remember, I actually have a live trading video where I made $50,000, I'll put that in the description, of this exact same setup on that video. And if you guys remember, it was at around 1100 or 1025 the stock went red after a massive, massive, massive move, right? And then it ended up closing down, I think it was 25% that day. So those setups don't happen every single day. They might not happen every single month, but if they happen every single quarter and you're able to pull out six figures on those setups, that's your entire year and that's mostly what I look for on these big stocks, right? Now, something important to notice as well is just because you have a pattern and it stops working because of whatever reason, that doesn't mean that you should automatically go back and change the pattern and change the strategy. So what I've seen people do is this. So no pattern, no strategy, no nothing has a 100% win rate ever, 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 ever. If anyone tells you they have a 100% win rate, they're a scammer, run away. Most patterns, at least the ones that I use, are about an 80 to 90% win rate. So what that means is 10 to 20% of the time, I am going to lose money. But what I see people doing is when they lose money on a pattern that works, right? The first thing to make sure of is does the pattern work? If you know that the pattern works because someone else has been using it for a long time and they are profitable with it, okay. But if you're just creating patterns out of thin air, that have never been back tested, that's a different story. So for this example specifically, if you created a pattern out of thin air, you haven't tested it or whatever, throw it out the window, doesn't count in this example. I'm talking about a pattern that has been back tested for years and years and years, like the first red day setup that bow has been using for 20 years, like the setup I've been using for 10 years where it wicks up and comes back down. So that's a common mistake that I see people doing is number one, they don't have a pattern that works, they don't have a strategy that works, and when they finally find a pattern or strategy that works and that's repeatable, after one red day, they're changing it up. But what I know is I know the strategy works. I just know that the human operator myself is flawed. So that doesn't mean that I'm gonna change a strategy every time I have a losing day because what that means is eight times out of 10, I'm gonna make money. The two times out of 10, I am not. There's gonna be no pattern that is 100%. So being able to find a strategy that works, to find a pattern that works, and to not change it when you have a loss is about 90% of the battle to making your first million in the stock market because if you could show up and trade your pattern every day, it's only a matter of time until the money adds up. All it takes to make a million dollars a year is $4,000 a day. If you have a successful pattern and a successful strategy, you're gonna be making way more than $4,000 a day, right? You know, these days I'm making 10, 20, 30,000. We'll pop up some profits on the screen so you guys see. And on my best days, on my first red days, on those patterns that come up every quarter that I know have an above 90% win rate, that's when I'm bulldozing in, that's when I'm getting heavier, and that's what I'm doing. That's the number one thing that got me to making my first million dollars in the stock market. The next video on this, right, is gonna be how to size up accordingly, right? on these stocks when the opportunity is there. So if you guys wanna see that video, leave a comment that says size, and that's what I'll make my next video on. And if you wanna see that $50,000 live trade from me, we'll also have that in the description. So thanks everyone, remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment, and I'll see you on the next video.